welcome back okay i'm obviously getting ready for the gym it's literally how i feel like all of my vlogs are off because i start them off in the morning and then i'm always getting ready to go to the gym because it's monday literally a song that should not be stuck in my head is stuck in my head right now they've been watching people do like compilations of youtubers reacting to colleen balling rollinger ballinger however you say her name the girl who does miranda sings her like youtube ukulele apology it's monday july 3rd tomorrow is july 4th i have to go out today and see if i can find charlie something because last night i was like okay we can't we can't be doing this charlie freaks out very badly over fireworks like she gets very scared she will shake for hours she was shaking until like 1 a.m last night and obviously the fourth of july like people have been lighting them off like very sparsely in my neighborhood but obviously tomorrow it's literally going to be like well you know gonna crack open a cold one with you guys okay oh forgot to bring my notepad drinking of course the alani cherry slush i haven't been able to get my hands on it in store and yesterday me and my dad had to go out really quick to walmart and he went in there and i said hey by the way can you look to see if they have any of my cherry alani's and he was like what what are you talking about and i was like my cherry alani's you know when you open the fridge and my cherry alani energy drinks he was like oh okay oh, okay yeah i'll go look he comes out with five of these i'm like slay and then since there's five of them that should last me four or five days and i ordered uh two 12 packs of these off of gnc all last week like all last week it thunderstormed like four days in a row and one of them the first day was like super bad we had power go out and everything i am doing my little plan of attack little to-do list for the day today's to-do list not very jarring okay i have three things as of right now so we have workout what i'm about to go do edit tbr i'm not gonna upload that today i want that uploaded tomorrow i'm not going to like finish editing that today i kind of maybe the goal is to like do all of the rough cut for that and then tomorrow do like the intricate editing for that and then i just want to read akawar i said read because i want to go above and beyond and maybe we can finish that today if i use most of my day towards that then we can finish aqua war maybe possibly i'm like really wanting to get this akatar video out like towards the beginning of july well also the problem that i'm seeing is that i am rereading the akatar series and so i haven't been able to like put those down and like pick up other books like if i try to pick up another book all i'm thinking about is like wanting to read akatar like that's all i'm thinking about i want to read a lot of aqua war today today i don't know what the weather is today i was hoping that i could lay out but i don't it's like cloudy right now but it could be sunny later i don't know but today is quads day so that's great but yeah that's what's on the agenda for right now i'm back from the gym i've been back from the gym for a while now and i'm about to get ready because i'm gonna go to the mall i want to get multiple things from the mall i want to see if there's an outfit that i can find for the fourth of july even though i highly doubt it i want to see if there's an outfit i also want to see if like pet smart or somewhere has like one of those thunder it's like called a thunder buddy or something for dogs that helps them with fireworks i just want to see if like anywhere has that if they do it would be greatly appreciated more like speaking of the angel look at her Ow, ow, that really hurts my jaw. She wakes up and she's so tired because she's been losing sleep, being anxious all night, which same. Just like her, just like her owner. She's just like her owner. She's taking right after me. I don't know. Let me throw on a fit. <laughs> let me get fitted real quick. It's fine. Okay, guys. I'm back from my mall excursion. And I have a few packages because when do I not have packages? Honestly, it's kind of an issue. So I went to the mall because I wanted to find an outfit. Couldn't find one anywhere i literally went to so many stores well the last well second to last store i went to was h&m and i got this from h&m it's just like a cute little sweater vest and my mom was like it's so cute it's 90s and whenever she says that to me put it in the bag put it in the bag because i love 90s fashion and then the first place that i went to was paxson why i thought for a moment that paxson would have a shirt for me to wear my vision was like cut off shorts or overalls and a baby doll tee or tank top of some sort like simple simple cute but also kind of a vintage feel and look to throw it back to like how you used to wear it as a kid so i went back then don't know why i thought hey i'm gonna find something like that there i didn't by the way but i did find this like 
plain baby tee because I love, not baby tee, this plain just t-shirt because sometimes I just like wearing a plain t-shirt and some shorts out in the summer. Got two different pairs of shorts that I didn't try on so let's just hope and pray that these fit. So these first ones, I mean they're just these plain color which I'll probably end up wearing tomorrow if they fit but they are the stretch high rise short. That's all I know. And then I got these vintage cut off. Literally exactly what I was feeling and I wanted these size 27 that's the size that i wear then i went to american eagle because i was like maybe american eagle has it and i didn't know that they did a summer i turned pretty collab and then i remembered oh wait i did see this on tiktok and people were calling it chuggy and like cringy but i literally don't care because guess what t-shirt i'm going to be wearing to binge the show this one this one conrad girly till i freaking die okay I'm gonna be wearing this gonna have the books right on my side i also got the most random pairs of socks sometimes my brain just sees colorful things and it makes me happy these are called the 90s crew socks it says Coke. There's a bunch of smiley faces and peace signs. I think it was probably a collab with Coca-Cola. I literally don't know, but they're cute. I got these. They're just pink smiley face socks. I should have got the big t-shirts that they had there for like, I need more gym shirts. Why do I kind of want to go back to American Eagle and buy those now? Anyway, I also got these. They say howdy. And then I got these. That's a two pack and it says have fun under the sun under the sun i guess that is true fun under the sun it's not fun in the sun because we're not inside the sun it's fun under it um but then they have these i spend this money and my mom had made a joke at the beginning of the day like why don't you go to old navy and like wear an old navy shirt like i used to when i was a child we used to get new old navy shirts every year for the fourth of july so then i just ended up getting an old navy shirt <laughs> for the fourth of july i think it was last year that i was like looking up on ebay if i could find one from 2003 when i was born i couldn't but it's just the literal like old navy shirt and i just think it's going to be iconic okay really 50 cents anyway my amazon packages there's nothing interesting in these they're just like self-care items that i got if you guys didn't see the unboxing where i originally bought this i think it was like a few weeks in my life ago i this is like my favorite body wash ever this is the uh i don't know it's this i think this is just my deodorant and it is. I just needed a refill of the Donna Karin Cashmere Mist deodorant. So there's that. I'm about to go put on a swimsuit and I think I'm gonna lay outside while I try to get through some more of Aka War. Oh my god, she's not mad at me. She didn't No, but you know what? You know what I have to do? I have to barely make a move in the mornings. If I still want to be laying in bed, I have to barely make a move or Charlie's on me. I haven't been able to take her on any walks because she straight up chewed through her harness. I had to, I had the fan up so loud. I had the fan up on like three last night. That way it was very, very loud. And then I had white noise playing on like 30 on my TV to try to drown out the fireworks. Okay. Thankfully though, they stopped at around like 11, like 1120 ish. So after they stopped, of course, like we had a little bit more time where Charlie was like shaking. But other than that, didn't didn't have anything. But I know tonight they're gonna go on for a long time. No. I'm telling you guys, sometimes I genuinely do think that Charlie's a human. The way that she acts. Maybe it's just because it's hurting, but part of me feels like my face looks mm -hmm. swollen. You know what time it is? Oh, by the way. That's, that's, happy. Her, that's her happy face. Happy fourth, everybody. Hello everybody. I'm doing this because I still have a swimsuit on. I'm wearing just like a plain red plain red swimsuit under this little top. I actually took some pictures in it. It is now four o'clock in the afternoon. Fourth of July, obviously. I was just laying out for a few hours over in Misty's pool. But this is my current read. I put down Ackerbor, but I'm reading The Last Letter by Rebecca Yarrows, which is the author of Fourth Wing, because I really want to try her other books. I think her other like popular book is like Things We Leave Unfinished or something. I just wasn't in the mood for that premise, but this one seemed interesting to me. It's about a guy who leaves a letter for the other guy that's in the army with him to like watch over his sister or something. So I've been reading that and I've been enjoying it. I mean, I'm only like 35 pages in because I stopped reading at some point. So it's four o'clock. I don't know what time we're going, but we're going to the fair. There's, so there's the state fair and then there's the Marion County Fair. And we're going to the Marion County Fair and it's giving me huge Stranger Things Season 3 vibes. Because if you guys know, Stranger Things Season 3, it's like the mall, but also like the fair that's happening on 4th of July. It can be like Stranger Things Season 3, so I'm very happy about that. But I think I'm going to just like take a shower and chill and read a little bit more of this for a little bit. Then get ready and we can get ready together. Tomorrow though, it's going to be exciting. I started freaking out for a little bit while I was laying out because I was like, I just feel like this vlog is boring. Like even though we're literally two days in. But anyway, tomorrow we're going to Kings Island, which is like the amusement park. It's in Ohio. It's not in Indiana, but it's in Ohio and we're taking my niece there. We're going to go to Kings Island. I haven't been to Kings Island since last year. I think I go like once 
every summer so yeah but chillax and i think my dad's gonna give this to the fair so very excited for that today's episode of why is destiny crying it's not for like a super important reason so don't think like something really bad happened can you imagine the last clip that i'm just crying in this clip and people are like what is going on girl but no i was just scrolling through tiktok when i should probably be getting ready oh my god my hair it's 6 30 and i think we're gonna go to the fair around like eight somebody posted on tiktok this like little quote story like short story thing and it said no one tells you what to do with the leftover dog food after your dog dies i stupidly continued to read it and it was talking about like just staring blankly at like the dog bowl and like all of that stuff like if you just have one dog you know and then that dog dies it just literally broke my heart into a million pieces because yesterday this girl posted a tiktok and it was like from her dog's point of view um like she wrote a post from her dog's point of view like outlining the day that she had put her dog down <sighs> oh my god it breaks my heart because my worst fear is something ever happening to charlie and it just breaks my heart to even think about that where is my dog actually i'm like over here crying <laughs> She's usually laying somewhere. <sighs> Charles! Hi! Oh my goodness! Hi! Hi, oh. hey, babe. You okay? <laughs> I'm emotionally dependent on my dog. But I'm going to try to not sob my eyes out and then try to get ready. Good morning, everybody. We are post July 4th. It is July 5th. It's July 4th. July 5th. Anyway, it's 8.30 a.m. And we are about to go to King's Island. It's so funny because usually, like, years ago, if we were to go to King's Island, I would wait at, like, its whole entire own dedicated vlog. Like, when I think about stuff like that. When I was in high school and we had, like, something going on, like, I used to literally just, like, vlog. Like, that's, like, the videos that I made in high school. We are taking my niece, but so like that's what we're doing. I think we're going to the water park. It says that you can bring a camera in, so hopefully that's true. I was literally about to be like, I'll probably edit a video. I don't want to. I want to read Aquabor. Anyway, let me find a swimsuit and like what I'm wearing. So my mom's gonna be mad if Dakota wakes up and I'm still not ready. <laughs> Check. 
What if I wanted to be Spider-Man? Anybody can wear the mask. What What do they say? Anybody can wear the mask. But are you on the... What did Miguel say? Miguel doesn't say anything like that. Something about risking something. Risking it all. This is what I would have done. I would have risked it all. You're risking it all about that. Pound is <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, just hear him out. <laughs> yeah. He's just in an emotional place. Like, we're just literally not letting her ride a single ride. We keep on being like, you'll ride a ride after this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I have sand in my purse, but I'm getting the most iconic. Guys, if you guys have never had blue ice cream from Kings Island, you guys have never lived. I think about this stuff from time to time. It's so good. I don't even know what flavor this would be. Yo, I'm not joking. I'm lactose intolerant. I will risk it all for this. Can't be washed off in that bathroom. It was, it was hot. It rained. I mean, we went through a war zone today. Ten out of ten would not recommend. Uh, what about you, Dustin? This place tears apart families. We'll see. We'll, we'll see who makes it home. Guess, guess what I did just go looking for? Had to go searching for this this girl right here. Quite literally, I go downstairs and then she's not there. I'm like, wait, hold on a second, because I know that Dakota was the last person up. I'm like, did he leave her outside? No, no. I opened my parents' door and she's laying in bed with them. And I said, okay, Charlie, come on. Why did she go to the door and then turned around and got right back on their bed? Hello, everybody. Anyway, today's Thursday. Right now, 1230, which it feels a lot later in the day because I woke up early this morning. I don't even know some of the things that have been going on this morning. I spent the morning editing the podcast. I slept awful last night, but it's good because I woke up and I got the podcast done. So now I am exporting that and then I'm going to have it upload to YouTube while... I am about to go to Home Goods. I'm about to go to Home Goods because, I mean, there's very many things that I do this with. You guys know if you guys are frequent viewers of my channel that some of the ways that my anxiety manifests is that when I think about something and I'm like, wait, I have to go do it because if not, then it's not going to be there when I go to do it later. So I've been seeing everybody. I, I've talked about how I've been seeing everybody on TikTok post like Halloween decor and Home Goods has put out like their home decor, their Halloween decor. I like bought a bunch of Halloween decor last year. I don't need any new ones, but there are a few pieces that like I didn't get last year because I was a little bit late to the game. Late to the game meaning I got stuff at the end of July. Guys, I've taught her well. Watch this. Mila. Mila. Mila, what do you want to listen to? Okay, we'll roll out to Dessa's Swifty playlist. Okay, guys. So, I am actually back at my home. Am I driving? Oh, no, I'm in reverse. Who gave me my driver's license? We didn't vlog in Target or Home Goods. Do you want to know why? We had an angry three year old on our hands. It was just, it was a mess, quite simply put. And now I'm going back to Home Goods to get the chair. What's your guys' current song obsession? I'm loving Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo, like everybody else is. Also, tonight, I think, at, is it at midnight that Speaking Out Taylor's version drops? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what's going on for right now. I haven't even ate anything today. I'm like kind of feeling a little. up this ac guys my car is literally packed full this is the chair behind me that i'm bringing with me the good thing is is that i won't be going home with all of this i'm gonna be honest with you guys isaac's not allowed to have pets it's like in his lease agreement that like pets aren't allowed to live there so i assume that that probably means like no pets are allowed to like visit but like today was honestly a very hard day for me to like leave charlie at home i really didn't want to i don't know if it's because i've been seeing so many sad dog tiktoks lately that genuinely it's like making my mental health plummet but have an hour drive ahead of me deer out there have my Alani. Let's crack this thing open. Um, it's seven o'clock. I don't think Sarah's listened to the full episode yet, so the episode hasn't went live. But 
I think I'm gonna listen one more time on the drive down here to our episode today um, to see, just listen to it one more time, even though I spent so many hours editing it. Ugh, I just missed my turn. Let's see what we get up to. Wait, where's my purse? What? Where are those at? All in motion. My fit t-shirt for size four. Okay. Well, all of the guys are going to the warehouse to do their live tonight. Therefore, I am about to go to Target that's attached to the mall before it closes. And I'm gonna get a USB plug-in for my lamp. See if they have like some other stuff for the room. Oh, I think I was in the Target parking lot the last time I talked to you guys. 11.30 at night, if you can hear yelling, Manny's upstairs playing the game. But anyway, I have the room, essentially everything I have. But I'm gonna get some more stuff. We need to get a desk. Because Isaac's gonna put his computer right there. And then I, I thought about, I thought about getting like a small TV and mounting it or something right there. That way just so that like there's like something else i don't know i want to see like how much a small tv is tomorrow to mount and put right there because i feel like that could be good i put a fan in here the fan that i got so i'll show you guys really quick here's the chair that i bought i have both the covers because instead of sitting in said chair i am sitting on the floor this is the skateboard that isaac got me and it's this spider-man it's a kid skateboard and i think we're gonna hang it up on the wall tomorrow for like a little bit of wall decor it's so cool and then, of course, Dakota gave me this Spider-Man poster from when he went and watched the movie. He watched it He watched it on opening night, well, the Thursday, so on June 1st, he got this movie poster. This is the little bookshelfish thing that I got. I brought some books with me. Brought Aquavore and A Court of Frost and Starlight, and then I bought, brought my two Book of the Month picks, and then I have some of this stuff. And then this is the Spider-Man rug that I'm absolutely loving i have picked up the camera because i think that i'm gonna start doing a reading vlog for haunting and hunting adeline it wasn't even on my tbr for this month but then i was like just now scrolling through kindle unlimited isn't it so funny that i brought two books with me but right now i don't feel like because akavor is so much more of a brain usage book for me you know what I mean? Like there are books that you can just kind of read and your brain doesn't have to think too hard about the words that are on the page. And Akavor is one of those books because Akavor is way more politics based. And since I am also trying to catch like hints of some stuff in Akavor, I need to be paying attention. So can't do that. Not with my mental capacity right now because it is 11.30 at night and that may not be late for some of you guys, but it is late for me. Anyway, good night guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It is the morning obviously since i just said good morning and you can see the daylight outside i just took a shower because i felt gross like i woke up this morning just feeling like gross i'm also talking quietly because everybody's sleepy and i also don't like people listening to me talk on the camera okay did not realize that the air was gonna be that strong are my sunglasses in here those why do i have sand in here literally why is there sand in here okay my sunglasses aren't in there but anyway i'm about to go to starbucks i did a mobile order so okay. i'm gonna sit on my phone for a little bit and check social media guys iconic behavior just happened i was walking up to get my mobile order because i realized Destiny, why are you sitting in line when you can just walk into the store and get it? Like, it's done. You can just walk in and get it. And I was like, you're so right, Destiny. You're so smart and right and perfect. I'm just kidding. I didn't say any of those things to myself. I probably quite literally said the opposite. Thank you very much. But anyway, I'm walking up and this guy is going to his car. And he had just got to Starbucks and he starts his car. And he's playing Back to December like I have been. I was just singing Back to December. And he's like got his hand out the window. He's like screaming the lyrics like he's having 
the absolute utmost time of his life as he should. This is icon behavior, babe. This is icon. Like, I know this is my favorite song on the album. I'm so glad I have found a fellow Swifty out in the wild that is jamming out to Taylor's version today. I love wearing shirts like this. Like, I think they're so cute, but I can't wear them because I sweat literally entirely so much. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, wait, let's try my Starbucks. So I just got my ice white mocha, but I got extra ice because I don't know. I don't know if it's because I just brushed my teeth. I don't know what's going on there. Let's see if I can find my way back to Isaac's house via just memory. We shall see. Okay, update, made it here all by myself. No need for directions or anything. Hey guys, it's 2.05 right now. I got scared to death because I've been sitting down and doing the thumbnail and they all left to go to the warehouse. So I'm sitting here alone and someone knocked at the door and I was so scared that somebody was trying to like kidnap me. What is this? Zachariah. Okay, don't know what Zachariah ordered. What I was saying was that somebody was knocking at the door to deliver that, but I thought someone was literally just trying to come in here and kidnap me. I've never been more scared in my life. Okay, guys, so I'm about to do my makeup and get ready. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup because they are gone doing whatever they do at the warehouse. <laughs> I say whatever they do, like I don't know what they do, but I think they're just packaging stuff today. And I am about to go to the at-home store and some stores like that, maybe try to find a TJ Maxx and stuff around here to look for more stuff for the room that I've been putting together. Okay guys, we're at the first stop, which is Home Goods. I didn't know there's a Home Goods out here, but thankfully this is like how back home, like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, the at-home store, like they're all pretty much in the same vicinity of each other. Let's see if I can find anything in here. It is Saturday and it is raining. I think it's supposed to storm like this all day because it's storming right now. I forgot that Isaac drove my car yesterday. Anyway, me and Isaac are about to go to breakfast. We're about to go to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I can't figure out how to turn that off. I can't figure it out. Last night, Taylor Swift brought out Taylor Botner. My favorite weather is in the fall when it's raining because it has that like gloominess to it. It's the fall, the ambiance, the leaves are orange and red and you just feel so cozy. God, I love that. God, I love that. Also, I'm trying to have energy but I'm tired. I did not sleep good last night at all. I was an anxious mess. All night, I was just up, just staring in the dark. I'm gonna go and listen back to December Taylor's version and cry. Why is this like that? I think the last thing that I vlogged was me, I think us going to breakfast this morning. And literally since then, we have not done anything. I came back home and Isaac and Zach went to the store um, to go like get some stuff. And I stayed back at home and I was watching Twilight and then I took a nap and I woke up and I've been trying to like plan out videos and stuff for the week, like what my week is going to look like. I feel like I don't vlog a lot while I'm here in Bloomington. I feel like, like, well, the only other, like the last week in my life that I posted when I was here, that I feel like all the clips are of me in the car and being like, this is what I'm doing, but like not showing any of it. But it's because one, I am not comfortable vlogging around uh, like Jared, Zach, Manny, like sitting here talking to the camera. And also we don't do a whole lot here, mostly because like during the week they're all working. So like if I come here during like a weekday, they're all like working, doing their stuff. Even on the weekend, they're like, we're, I just turned and I wasn't supposed to turn. There's not a whole lot to do and we just don't do a lot like while we're down here. So I don't have much like actually vlog other than us just chilling. Do you guys care about this stuff? I like just talk to you guys like I'm talking on the phone. So I get very like 
where I just feel like I'm just word vomiting almost where I'm like Destiny I don't really think that anybody cares about this babe. Target is literally so packed right now I kid you not. I like don't need to bring my purse in but I bring it because I have to have something to hide my camera with. I know Isaac won't want to be on camera, so. You want to be on camera? Now? No, I want it just sitting right here. I don't. I don't want you to record. Look, do I have a pimple right here? Why does it hurt so bad in the crevice of my nose area? Can I pause this? Can I pause it? I uh, would probably do it anyway. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just turn it down. I'm back from my Target excursion, the 15th one that I've taken. I got Isaac. Have you been in the bathroom to see all the stuff that I got? No, what'd you get? I got a bath mat, cause you didn't have one. I got hooks that go on the door for your towels. I got Isaac more towels too. I got the shower caddy thing that is on the shower head and I put all your stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Also, I found out that Isaac's mirror in the bathroom is a cabinet. So I put my face wash and deodorant in it. Um, it's, what time is it? Nine. It's nine o'clock? Honestly, I've enjoyed our day. Did you enjoy our day? Mm-hmm. A little, I'm a little bored. Yeah, but Isaac's used to go, 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 go. He thinks that, like, if you have a moment of free time, you need to be doing something. He is not the type to sit there and be like, oh, let's just chill and, like, watch... Like, you know, like me, like you guys know me, I'll sit in bed and straight up have a movie marathon, a TV marathon, if I just feel like mentally whatever that day, I will literally just sit in bed and not do anything and I really won't feel that bad about it in the moment. I'll feel bad about it in a few hours after I did it. So Isaac, for the first time ever, last night we watched Grown Ups and then we watched Grown Ups 2 today, and what did you think? What would you rate them out of 10? They're funny. There, he was laughing a lot. Adam Sandler is a little very funny guy. How many Adam Sandler movies have you watched? Uh, Not a lot. Name them. Grown Ups 1 and 2. Happy Gilmore. You watched Happy Gilmore? Back in the day. Uh, Longest Yard. You watched The Longest Yard? Uh, name one and I'll tell you if I watched it or not. Um, there's the one, Billy Madison. Yeah. Is it Big Daddy? I don't think I watched that. Is that, I think that's what it's called. Just go with it. You haven't watched that movie. I mm -hmm. love that movie. That's like me, Lexi, and Mallory's movie. Every single time that we spend the night, we all three get in Mallory's bed and we turn on Just Go With It. Blended, 50 First Dates. Oh my gosh, 50 First Dates is iconic. I used to love when 50 First Dates would come on TV. Well, I introduced him to Grown Ups 1 and 2 today and he liked them. He used to, it's very hard. It's like pulling teeth to get Isaac to sit down and watch a movie. While he was gone, I watched the first Twilight. But the thing is, is I also stopped watching it because I posted on my Instagram story that I was watching because it was rainy today. Like today is a rainy day and I love watching Twilight on rainy days. So I was watching Twilight and then I told you guys, I was like, should I read like the books that go with the movies and then like make a video where like in the video I read the book the first part is like me reading the book and the second part is me watching the movie and like doing commentary on the movie but if i'm gonna be honest i probably won't be doing that until fall time because why is the like twilight like a fall time film <laughs> what are you laughing what you drink, you drink. <laughs> Um, what Isaac doesn't know is that we just came upon an agreement because I was going to go home tonight and before, don't give me that look, before I went into the shower I said I'm about to take a shower and I'm either going to leave or if you agree to watch a few episodes of The Crowded Room with me then I will stay here and I'll stay the night and you agreed upon that and now you're watching YouTube. Don't pull, don't put your hand out to me. The only TV show that me and Isaac have ever watched together is what I have introduced him to. I've introduced him to Stranger Things. I introduced him to you. What else did I introduce you to? That we watch. That's it. Too Hot to Handle. Love Island. Uh, what was that one My show that we movie. called? What was that one show? The football movie. Football All TV American. show. All American. I did introduce you to that as well. Ultimatum. The Ultimatum Show. Guys, we watched Ultimatum and that show was crazy. Crazy. We watched it a few months ago and it was literally wild. It's called Ultimatum Marry or Move On. If you guys haven't watched it on Netflix. It is insane. First of all, the premise to be like, you don't want to marry me, so let's go on this show 
with a bunch of other people who were like in the same predicament that like one of the people wants to get married and the other one like isn't ready and we're basically gonna date other people to see like if you want to marry me wild i wouldn't have lasted a day i wouldn't have lasted an hour I, actually matter of fact i wouldn't have been there but anyway i'm gonna go force isaac to watch crowded room and he's gonna watch it until 11. You are. Don't even try to giggle behind the camera and act like you're not gonna watch it, Isaac. I'm not joking around. <laughs> we'll see if Isaac makes it through the night. <laughs>